Hey everybody out there, it's Terry Wellbanks from Event Banks MMA and Warrior Fight Store Whitby, 319 Brock Street South, Unit 2, Whitby, Ontario, Canada. I just wanted to cover a couple of things today that, that have kind of been on my mind and I want to just go over it with you guys and hopefully get some of your feedback and comments as to whether or not you agree or disagree with me. Um, first, I'd like to start out by saying um, recently in the news, I, I've been reading a lot of, uh, a lot of the, the MMA media pushing out articles stating that um, MMA athletes or fighters don't need managers. Um, there are some absolutely shady managers out there, and I understand why the MMA media would feel that way, um, why the brass at, at Zufa or any other organization would feel that managers just kind of get in the way of everything. But there are some amazing managers out there. Uh, you know, Lex McMahon being a prime example of, uh, of everything that a manager should be. Um, he, he goes out of his way to find his athletes work. Um, he pushes, he, he finds them the best fights, he finds them the best sponsors. A guy like that is a guy that if you're an MMA fighter, you want to have in your corner and work with. Um, he, he works harder than anybody I can think of. Um, he's an amazing guy, he's a dear friend. And, uh, and you know, when people say that fighters don't need managers, I think of Lex and then I realize how much fighters do need managers and how much any athlete or, or anybody that has thousands of people coming at them all the time needs somebody to help delegate the responsibilities to that athlete and let them know where they need to be and what they need to be doing. So um, do MMA fighters need managers? In my opinion, absolutely 100%. Now, I also wanted to, uh, to, to say that there's been a lot of controversy over um, the welterweight division. A lot of people are kind of getting on the, on the whole friends fighting friends thing again. Um, I'm going to say that in some respects, I understand why people would want to see a guy like Rory McDonald fight George St. Pierre. It would be a very, very exciting fight. I think Rory would bring the best out of George, and, and obviously George would bring the best out of Rory. I think it would be an amazing fight, and I'm pretty sure that it would go down as, as one of the best fights we've ever seen. But the bottom line is, is that if you're Rory McDonald and you're on this skyrocket to the top, and obviously you're going to bump into to the person that you flew out from one side of the country to the other to train with. Um, you you know that 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 eventually is good, that conversation is going to come into play and that it's going to end up coming to fruition where you may have to bump bump heads with that with that guy. Well, let me tell you. I don't think that those two should have to fight. That would be like Gilbert Melendez fighting Nate Diaz. They're from the Gracie camp. I don't. I don't think that they should ever have to fight either. I just don't. I just don't see a reason why people that actually live together, train together, they do everything together. Like they're super close. I don't feel like they should have to be competing with each other um, in the cage if they don't want to. If you know a guy like Leonard Garcia says, you know, I'll fight. I'll fight my best friend. You know. Uh, because we're, we train every day and we hit each other every day, so there's no reason why we wouldn't do it in a cage for money. But at the same time, the loser of that fight is always gonna have a different, a different input or a different outlook on, on their relationship based on the fact that he feels like he got one better. And then now a lot of people would say, well, you know, if, if, if your friend beat you, now just train harder to beat him next time. That's really not how it works. It takes something away from the friendship, I think. It's, it's a kaleidoscope kind of thing where basically you're looking at a kaleidoscope and it's one view um, of this person and you guys have been real close. You've been training partners, you've shared secrets, you've done everything. And as soon as that's tilted a little bit to the left, it's a completely different picture. And that would be the situation with friends fighting friends. I'm just not for it and I don't think that it should happen. Um, for instance, the, uh, the John Jones and Rashad Evans fight, um, it was a little bit of a snooze fest. A lot of people were, were extremely upset the fact that the fight was so overhyped and it didn't deliver in terms of a knockout or a finish. Um, obviously, they both Im implemented game plans, but they also gave each other a ton of respect because they used to train together, so they know the ins and the outs of each other's games. Obviously, they've had a little bit of time to grow separately and learn new things, but for the most part, they knew exactly what what each other was going to do, and that made for a boring fight. And I don't want to see a I, I I don't want to see friends fight if it's going to be a boring fight. If friends are going to fight and they both agree to do it, and they're both going to elevate their games, and uh, and both of them stand to win from it. Obviously, the paycheck is a win, but if both of them really stand to win, if the winner's going to get a title shot, um, th then I get it. But if, if, if there's a title holder and then a friend has to fight that person for his title, you can't tell me for a second if, 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 if the challenger for the title beats his, one of his best friends who has the title that that relationship's ever going to be the same. And family, friends, those all come before, before work. I, I, I don't, that's just my view on it. I would, I would take my family over my business any day, and I hope that all of you would too. So that's my view on that. 
And, uh, and I'd also like to state for the fact that I do think that Rory McDonald is the best welterweight on the planet. I do think that Rory McDonald could win that title tomorrow. Um, I do also think that if, if the situation arises where Zufa puts him in a corner and he, and he chooses to fight and he has to fight George St. Pierre, I think he moves up to middleweight um, I, and he wins that title. I, I, I seriously think Rory McDonald is on a John Jones level of talent. I think Rory McDonald is an absolute animal. And, uh, and if you don't know about Rory, Obviously, you saw the Shea Mills fight. If you saw him fight Nate Diaz, um, if you've seen him fight Carlos Condit in a fight that shouldn't have been stopped, I think if he fought Carlos Condit tomorrow, he'd win. So, Rory McDonald, best welterweight in the world. Um, please bring Patrick Cote back to the UFC. This guy's won four in a row. You have people on your roster that have that, that literally have four losses in a row that are still on your roster. And Patrick Cote does, does a lot of things for the UFC and Zufa that maybe a lot of people don't know. Um, he, you know he, he'll go out of his way to do commentary. He does special things for the UFC that I think um, has earned him the right to have another fight. Um, ha- have him fight in Montreal. You know, so, so sign, him, sign him to a one-fight deal. Give him the fight if he wins. Sign him to a three-fight deal. Um, sign him to a four-fight deal. Do whatever you have to do, but let's get this guy back in the cage. He is more than deserving. Out of anybody that has been cut from the UFC and has had to work, he is the one that deserves it. There's guys like Tim Sylvia that are trying to get the fans to get him back in the UFC, whereas Patrick Cote is earning his spot in the UFC. So please get Patrick Cote back in the UFC um, and, uh, and, and everybody rally for him. I mean, you may not love his style of fighting or whatever the case, but let me tell you that he is deserving of a shot. And I think that everybody should get behind Pat. He's an amazing guy. He's a great friend to me. Um, I've got nothing but the most respect for him when it comes to the fighting. He's been dominating outside of the UFC. If you haven't seen his fights, check him out. Um, you know, he picked up a guy and slammed him and broke his leg. Like, the, he's, he's on fire. He's doing really well. And I think that he deserves a shot. They need to get him in that Montreal card or have him fight in Toronto, uh, Calgary, have him fight in Vegas. I don't care if he fights in, in Nunavut. Uh, which is which is a place in Canada. As long as he gets a fight in the UFC, that's all that matters to me. So, um, other than that, that's it. I just wanted to catch up with you guys and uh, and, and shoot a little quick video. Um, please leave your comments in the bottom if you disagree or do agree with me. And uh, hopefully, uh, I, I can bang on another one of these next week. I want to do uh, a video covering the MMA Expo, the first ever all Canadian MMA Expo that we're doing here. Um, I've got amazing brands in there. We've got world class conditioning, ugly fightwear, stare down, vicious. Um, Street Soldier, we've got Bloody Knuckles, we've got um, uh, we've got brawler boards involved. All the, all the uh, uh, all of the mainstream media, um, the Score, Sportsnet, Fight Network is going to be a co-sponsor of the event. They're all going to be down here. We're bringing the whole world into Whitby, Ontario, for this MMA Expo. I'll get into the fighters and that in my next video. But let me tell you, the list grows every single day, and it just gets better and better. We've got so much Canadian talent and so much talent. Period on this thing that it's insane. So. Please stay tuned for that. Please repost, reshare, retweet, um, you know, like the video, subscribe to the channel. Let's really get this thing rocking and rolling, guys. And please like our page on Facebook, Event Banks MMA slash Warrior Fight Store Whitby. And check me out on Twitter at Event Banks underscore WFSW. Thank you guys so much. Um, I hope to talk to you soon. Much love. And thank you to everyone who follows and uh, pays attention to what I'm doing. I really appreciate it. And I'll continue to be... Uh, um, a, a proud supporter of Canadian MMA and all MMA worldwide. Love you guys. Thank you so much.